Hello everyone and welcome to another Yukon UPDEC construction project update. My name is Lou Gett and today is October 30th, 2017. We are on the NSB project, the new engineering and science building. This is our 12th video in the series and we're going to take you through the progress. We'll begin as always with the most amazing aerial footage and this will be our last pass. Take a minute to thank our colleague Milton Levin for these amazing aerial shots. We pass over the north elevation, the walkways are completed, the landscaping is completed. We pass to the east, the landscaping again is completed. We're to the south, the same thing, the parking lot, the loading dock is actually active at this particular point. We can see more than a few cars in the back. The contractor is still finishing up some of his punch list. And as we swing around the central utility plant, this feature courtyard to the west area here has been completed. The trees are installed, the tables are out there, and this is right outside the gathering space. What a perfect location. We're now going to take you on the north elevation outside the artwork that has just been recently installed. And one thing we weren't really expecting is the amazing mirror effect of the glass and panels on this north elevation. Look at how chemistry is reflected here. And finally to the south, we're gonna do a flyaway showing you how the building fits amongst our other buildings. Chemistry to the right, student health services, central plant, pharmacy, perfect. What a, a great joint effort to uh, move the owner into the building, TCOs on floors, single floors at a time. We are now received a TCO on all the floors, but again, the first floor, we talked about it many times, is gonna be the last floor to be finished. We're entering into the lobby area right in through here. What a great space, tall, the themed tile work on the wall, stainless tall doors in here, glass open to the whole area, the main display screen over through here, that's going to house the directory, uh, the smartness of the building, the systems, all the information through here. Beautiful terrazzo has been finished. This will be the main elevators right in through here. We see the sign on the top. We're going to take a quick peek into the gathering space here, and this is going to be one of the last areas finished. The beautiful parquet flooring on, over here. We'll take a minute, we'll pan. So this is pretty much open right to the elements, this tall glass. You almost feel like you're in the patio. And this is gonna be the gathering space of the building. This wall here, which is the last wall to be finished, will have some art glass in it. We'll have a screen right in through here. There'll be tables right in here. This is gonna be the, one of the feature spots of the building. We'll take a look at the unique ceiling up above, the light fixtures, what a space. So I understand this space is about a week or so out. Welcome back to take a look at this. We'll continue on through here. Well, as I mentioned, the elevators in through here. Nice Yukon blue. This tile in through here has some light shades into it. We'll take a quick peek. This is going to be the southwest entrance right in through here. A lot of the students will be using this section through the central utility plant over through here. Pharmacy over in here. They're just finishing up the walkway down through here with some nice handrails. And this is the uh, this plaza area in here. What a beautiful spot. The artwork made its way back over through here. And again, what a great blend of colors in through here. The grays, the blues, and the whites. A little talk about the function the first floor is engineering through here. We're going through the loading dock area. We'll show you the easy accessibility to deliveries through here. Very nice. Elevation for the trucks to be in through here. And the walkway up. All the shrubs have been installed. All right, we can't uh, complete a pass through in the general spaces without checking the bathrooms out. Very unique, like a glass, a 12 by 12 glass tile in through here. Very clean, very sleek.
stainless partitions through here. What a nice blend of colors. It's like a light cloudy glass, a bluish gray, darker gray on the floor. Very nice, very modern facility. All right, remembering that the engineering is the first floor, the fourth and the fifth floor, biology on two and three. And again, work in progress. The directory is going in here. There's some glass fronts coming in this section right in through here. They call this the smart room in through here. This is the room that's going to house, operate the large display board that we came in when we came by. All right. In here, all the building's functions, how it's operating, just a wealth of information will be controlled and monitored through this space over in here. All right, we continue over to a little break room through here. We'll be able to come down in through here. This location will have vending machines in here. Catch a snack if you need it. Little pantry over in through here. So working long hours, need to get a bite, need to get a snack. There you go. We'll take a quick peek into the meeting room through here. Beautiful glass. Full view door. Wood panels on the wall. Beautiful view outside here. Large display screens. The wood panels down below to be able to later on provide some beautiful aesthetics and also to later on to be able to get to your electrical components. The table with the service in here to be able to control and drive. Very nice space. And again, full glass to the exterior. Plants are in. You know, you really feel like you're right outside. We're going to continue on. The same theme colors that we see upstairs. These uh, access marker panels for the electrical panels behind. What a great idea. And again, you can mark on these. Clean them up, continue, sketch right on the wall, display, display screen. This is the dry lab down in here. This is really the support area for the two labs over here for the virtual reality lab right through here and the cyber physics coming up right next to it. This is where products are going to be worked on. They're going to go into the two labs and try them out, bring them back out here. They'll be created out here. They'll be tried, they'll be revised, and that's what's going on in this dry lab through here. Well, wow. think back to the previous videos where we watch these cabinets, we watch the construction of them. In this first floor, the theme down here is workspace in these dry labs. Butcher block countertops in through here, butcher block workbenches that can be moved as needed through here. So really a working space down here. First floor engineering. There's the view again, full glass in here. Fantastic. We'll take a quick peek into the virtual reality in here. And again, until the equipment really comes in through here, you're not gonna really see much except for how this uh, finished space looks in through here. Virtual reality, there'll be all kinds of handheld devices, operating equipment, screens on the wall. Futuristic engineering. We'll take a quick peek into the cyber physics in through here. We were in here before, finished now. Still some netting to go up in here. And remember these ceilings, we talked about them before or to provide several functions. One, to be able to support equipment off of two, to be able to put netting up in here. All kinds of things will be going on here. There'll be some drone use, uh, devices that fly, robotics that are going on in through here are just a few. And again, we have the cameras, four cameras in the room in through here. So this room is gonna come alive once they begin to use it. We'll try to come back here in the future. We continue to the east here. This is the ITAR room here to the left. Smoke glass so you can't see in here. There's some secure processes going on in through here. Uh, hence the uh, smoke glass on through here. 
can't necessarily get right in. Workbenches in through here. Be a lot of computer work going on in this space right in through here. We come down all the way to the east, the magnificent walk that goes up by student services up in through here. Very nice space. A second ITAR lab over through here. Again, the same smoke glass. And finally, another dry lab. Very similar on the north to the south with the cyber physics and the virtual lab down in through here. Let's take a quick pass through the second floor. We've been through here before, second and third floor, biology, uh, wings. This is the uh, ISG, the Institute for Systems uh, Genomics. This grand stair, we looked at that. The last time we were here was work in progress. They're doing some work on the floors in through here. We'll take a quick peek in this conference room here. We've been through here before. We talked about what a great space this is going to be. Corner of the building, all of the glass, shades. The sun comes through this area right over in through here. Great table with workstations on it. Gives you an idea. All these white glass boards that we talked about, marker boards where people can write on. We're beginning to see a little bit of that. Quick peek in the pantry room. We've been in here before. You know, another feature location. What a great spot to break in here. Look at the size of the smart TV screen through here. Amazing. We took a look at this roof, this outdoor paver section going on through here. So it's not open to the general public, but what a great feature through here. What a nice break room spot to gather through here. Again, southwest. Full glass, cup, pharmacy. What a grand stair that adjoins the two spaces, the second and the third floor. Let's take a look at that. Look at the lighting fixtures that are embed into this soffit area right in through here. Not something that you see every day. Really gives an amazing look at this staircase staircase these vertical lights in through here and again they're working on the floor up in through here right we can just see remnants of some sketches up on that I have to say pretty nice to have in the office to be able to sketch right on your wall We have to take a quick peek. Bioscience Lab 2, South Wing. Remember we watched, go back in the videos from no cabinets, some cabinets, all cabinets. We saw the Ruffton Mechanicals and just a quick peek on, on an active lab. Scientists are in here, students are in here, experiment studies ongoing, full use. Fume hoods full. The marker boards that we talked about in use. You know, this is what it was for. Amazing. Again, today is October 30th, 2017, and we thank you for your interest in our university projects. Remember to subscribe to our Yukon UPDC YouTube channel. Once subscribed, under subscriptions, to the right, under the bell, a check next to send me all notifications for this channel with a save. This way, anytime we add a project or update a project, you'll receive an automatic email. We thank you for your interest in our university projects. Have a great day.